Hello, this is Dr. David Green, CEO of R3 Stem Cell. Today's topic is stem cell therapy for degenerative disc disease. 90% of people will experience back pain at some point in time. And an unfortunate few of those, about 10%, will become chronic. Now, degenerative disc disease has been shown to be the cause of 40% of chronic back pain. Most of the time, when you see degenerative disc disease on an MRI, it's not symptomatic. So just because a person sees it or has it on an MRI doesn't mean he or she will be stuck with a lifetime of pain, but if they are, it really causes significant disability. Now, traditional treatment options for degenerative disc disease include physical therapy, anti-inflammatories, uh, now traditional treatment options for degenerative disc disease may include physical therapy, anti-inflammatories, narcotic pain medication for short-term use, chiropractic manipulations, various injections are available, such as intradiscal steroids, facet, or medial branch blocks, possibly a radiofrequency ablation, um, and then surgery as a last resort, which could be either a fusion versus an artificial disc replacement. So none of these treatments actually changes the course of the problem and makes the disc regain height, regain uh, its function. They do provide short-term relief at best, and surgery is actually kind of a roll of the dice. Regenerative medicine is here now with stem cell therapy, and the beauty of it is it's that no more Band-Aid. It actually repairs, regenerates, and can offer long-term relief, allowing patients to get back to doing what they want to do, play with their grandkids, perform elite athletics, or just be a weekend warrior. The intervertebral disc itself has a pool of stem cells and progenitor cells. Even though it has a terrible blood supply, it does actually receive some nutrition from the end plates of the disc above and below. Now, when an exogenous stem cell is put in from you know, an external source into the disc, it can adopt nicely to the low glucose supply, the low oxygen, and the loads that are put on it. But, at least in the lab, it's shown a literal tolerance to the acidity and the hypertonicity of the disc. So a lot of times those uh, stem cells have died. Now, current research is now concentrating on the development of more biologic therapies to target the underlying uh, degenerative disc disease to repair it or prevent degeneration. Okay, so in the past, um, you know, we haven't been able to come to this point. So we've had to focus on, you know, this artificial disc replacement or things like that. So here's a study, treatment of discogenic back pain with autologous bone marrow concentrate with a minimum two-year follow-up. There were 26 patients who failed conservative treatment and they're kind of at the end of the road, right? Um, and they received autologous bone marrow injection into the disc. Now, 92% of them were able to avoid surgery for a year and 81% avoided surgery for two years. And durable pain relief um, through the two years, they showed a 71% reduction in their pain scores and over 60% functional improvements at the two-year point. So this was a dramatic outcome for a biologic procedure. Here's a study out of Europe looking at intervertebral disc repair with activated nucleus pulposa cell transplantation. Um, so nine patients underwent spinal fusion, and nucleus pulposa cells were cultured um, with autologous bone marrow. So during the fusion, they took out some nucleus pulposa cells and they cultured them autologous bone marrow and they injected them into the adjacent level. All right, so in this procedure, look at my, um, you have the fusion at the L5-S1 level and the injection was placed into the L4-5 level. And what happens is if you have this fusion, a lot of times this disc over time will degenerate rapidly. So they did this to see if, would that happen or not. Um, and what they saw is that in those nine patients, it prevented any further disc degeneration at the adjacent level for three straight years. Um, here's a study looking at lumbar intradiscal platelet-rich plasma injections, prospective, double-blind, randomized. This study came out last year. 47 patients who had symptomatic degenerative disc disease um, over six months uh, were followed up for one year with the treatment. So... Here's a study looking at platelet-rich plasma injections into the disc. It was prospective, double-blinded, and randomized. It was 47 patients with symptomatic degenerative disc disease who had failed over six months of conservative treatment. Um, when the PRP was injected, they followed them up for one year. So 
one arm had PRP um, and then the other arm had contrast alone after a disc discogram. So what they showed was significant improvements in pain reduction, increased function, and increased satisfaction with the results being maintained at one year. So effectively what this showed is that PRP is great for disc degeneration. So what a lot of folks will do is they'll include PRP along with the stem cell therapy going into the disc. Here's a study looking at amniotic fluid to relieve disc-related low back pain uh, compared with long-acting steroid injection. So it's 42 patients. It was randomized steroid versus amniotic fluid. Both groups did well. However, amniotic group experienced much longer-lasting pain relief than steroid. Over half of the amniotic group experienced relief for the entire two years of the study. In conclusion, degenerative disc disease is usually asymptomatic but it can lead to chronic pain and disability. And when that happens, traditional treatments and surgery have not been a great answer. Surgery is kind of a roll of the dice and traditional treatments have kind of been like, you know, meh for uh, a long decades now. Bi biologic therapies are the best option we have moving forward, especially since these initial studies are showing exceptional results with both PRP and mesenchymal stem cells with bone marrow and also amniotic therapy. If you look at amniotic fluid, um, it's rich in the components for tissue regeneration. They have gro it has growth factor proteins, over 75 growth factors, cytokines, collagen, hyaluronic acid, messenger RNA. It's also got mesenchymal stem cells. If you look at products such as what we provide, um, third-party assays show that there are a significant amount of stem cells that are viable after it's thawed out. There's also fibroblast keratinocytes and epithelial cells. We truly want to make a difference in patients' lives by helping them avoid surgery and remain as active as desired. Our affiliated R3 Stem Cell Centers of Excellence are located nationwide and offer first-rate regenerative therapies. So visit us today at r3stemcell.com and then call us at 844-GET-STEM. Thank you for watching.